everyone. My name is Dr. Divya and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences at IIT Madras. I'm offering a new course called Modern Indian Writing in Translation. Many critics state that the best Indian literature is to be found in the native languages of India. This course offers a choice set of literary texts produced in translation, in English translation, but written originally in the various regional languages of India. We have writings on the course by figures such as Rabindranath Tagore, Vaikam Mohammed Bashir, uh, Gulzar, Amrita Pritam, Sundar Ramasamy, and Salma. Modern Indian writing and translation is traced from the colonial period and post-partition times to post-independent and to the contemporary world of India. We will be looking at concepts such as modernism, regionalism and the contemporary and social cultural constructs such as gender, class and identity would also be probed through the text for study on this course. The key objectives of the course are to understand the multifaceted nature of cultural identities, to compare literary texts produced across regions and to understand similarities and differences in uh, concepts such as identity, themes and narrative structures. We'll also be exploring images in literary productions to understand the writer's sense of the different specialities in India. Some of the texts that we'll be reading for this course are The Hunger of Stones, uh, Bashi's The Blue Light, uh, Toba Tek Singh, Crossing the Ravi, Stench of Kerosene, Nagamandala, Tamaran History, and uh, a selection of Indian poetry in translation. Uh, we have uh, tribal poems, anonymous tribal poems such as Chill Out, I Have Given Birth to a Son, and poem by Salma called Perspective, Dilip Chitra's Father Returning Home, and Kedanath Singh's Where Would I Go? I welcome you to this exciting course. I now invite my TA to read Kedanath Singh's Where Would I Go? Where Would I Go? Translation of Jaunga Kaha by Kedanath Singh. Where Would I Go? I shall only stay here, like a handprint on a door, just to be there. I'll be hidden in the smell of a suitcase sitting in an old ledge. I'll remain buried in a register book under the letters where my permanent address is written. Or if I can tell, I will be the bell the donkeys wear, carrying salt up the steep slopes, or a nail on a boatman's bridge. Where would I go? You will see. Everything will stay as it is. Only my routine will change. When the birds return in the evening, I will also return. And in the morning, when they fly, I'll fly with them.